Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in this video, I want to talk about cryptocurrency, right? I'm going to give you guys a little update on what is exactly happening right now with Bitcoin and of course the whole cryptocurrency market in general, right? So as you guys can see, Bitcoin is in fact at $16,000, right? Just a few hours ago, Bitcoin was in fact above $17,000, around 17.3 now we're currently at 16.7 right so bitcoin is in fact having a slight drop right now okay um ethereum as you guys can clearly see is in fact at 1200 dollars. so it's still holding up pretty well okay for ethereum but it has obviously dropped significantly right we all know that the whole crypto market has dropped significantly with the whole situation with you know ftx okay um, the crypto exchange, okay, we all know what's happening with it right now. So obviously, okay, FTT, okay, is obviously dropping, okay. Um, you guys obviously know that, right? Let's see how much it has dropped um, so far and see where it's at right now. So it's currently at $2 and it is down over 32%, right? So it has obviously dropped. You guys can clearly see that, right? Uh, so... Yeah, obviously with FTT and of course FTX, um, with the whole situation that's happening with it, right? Obviously, um, that's why guys, Bitcoin and the whole cryptocurrency market has obviously been dropping, which is obviously a good sign, guys, right? It's a good sign to obviously buy, okay? This is exactly what I've been telling you guys as many times, you know, I've been literally giving you guys a little warnings for the past few weeks, even for the past few months, right? I've literally been giving you guys little warnings, giving you guys a little heads up that this will happen. You know what I mean? That Bitcoin was eventually going to be dropping below, you know, the $18,000 price range. And look where Bitcoin is at right now. You know, it's below $17,000 right now. Okay. So Bitcoin is dropping. Okay. It's down over 2%. Ethereum is at $1,200. Okay. So it's a decent buy right now. Okay. For Bitcoin and Ethereum. And of course, other old coins because other old coins okay have dropped significantly okay i just want to say real quick bitcoin and old coins right now are dirt cheap i just want to say that real quick okay so i feel like everyone right now and i've been telling us this many times you know what i mean everyone right now if you guys are in fact invested into this market okay invested into this cryptocurrency market right or you guys are in fact you know crypto investors just like me okay Everyone right now should be dollar cost averaging, right? DCA. Everyone should be doing that into the market right now. You know what I mean? Personally, that's just what I think. You know what I mean? Obviously, this is not financial advice, right? But I just feel like this is obviously a great time right now to DCA into the markets. You know, no one right now should be panicking. No one right now should be, you know, panic selling, you know, even selling in general. You know what I mean? Like, we shouldn't be doing that right now. Obviously, right now, this is a time to accumulate to invest to buy to dollar cost average right so you guys can clearly see let me just show you guys this real quick the fan greed index i haven't given you guys an update on this um it's been a while you know what i mean it's been like a couple weeks so it's currently at 21 okay so we are still in extreme fear actually a few days ago right we were actually above 40 you know what i mean we were just in fear mode right and this was you know pretty much six days ago right and then six days later obviously we are now at 21 so we are back at extreme fear mode right so obviously everyone right now is extremely fearful for bitcoin and the whole cryptocurrency market right and i've told you guys as many times okay and we all know this when everyone else is fearful we got to do the complete opposite we're gonna we, we gotta be greedy you know what i mean while everyone else is fearful we gotta be greedy guys while everyone else is panicking you know panic selling we gotta start buying okay we gotta start accumulating you know what i mean so obviously guys in my personal humble opinion i just think right now this is literally the perfect time right now to dollar cost average okay dollar cost average now guys buy now before it's actually too late right why do i say it's too late because no one okay listen to this guys no one actually realistically really knows where the bottom is for Bitcoin and of course the whole cryptocurrency market. Who knows? This might actually be the bottom. You know what I mean? Where Bitcoin is at right now, this could actually be the bottom. It could, you know what I mean? But honestly, guys, it's not, right? I really do believe that, 
you know, the bottom for Bitcoin will in fact be about twelve to ten thousand dollars. You know, I really do see Bitcoin. If you guys haven't seen my most previous video where I talked about, you know, Bitcoin reaching ten thousand dollars, okay, definitely watch that video, right? The one that I literally just uploaded just yesterday, okay. I talked about why I believe Bitcoin will in fact reach ten thousand dollars. So I really do believe personally, guys, that the bottom for Bitcoin will be about you know, around $12,000 to $10,000, maybe even potentially even lower than that, maybe around $9,000, right? But no, I don't think it'll go like lower than that, right? I think, you know, around 12, 10, even nine, maybe that's going to be like the rock bottom for Bitcoin. So obviously right now, guys, is a perfect time to dollar cost average, right? But I could be wrong. Like I said, no one realistically really knows where the bottom is for Bitcoin, okay? So this is why, guys, you guys should be dollar cost averaging, right? You guys should be DCAing into the markets right now, you know, buy Bitcoin or Ethereum. Okay. Just invest your money into, into, you know, the cryptocurrency market every week or every two weeks or every month, right? It really depends. Okay. It's really up to you. You know what I mean? Like if you guys don't know what dollar cost averaging is, it's really simple. Okay. So let's just say, for example, every week you want to invest $100 into Bitcoin. You will do that consistently Okay, you will do that consistently, right? Every week you invest one hundred dollars consistently. Okay, so that's dollar cost averaging, guys, right? And you will invest that one hundred dollars no matter what Bitcoin is doing, right? Even like if it's going up, right? If it's pumping or it's stomping, right? Either way, you'll invest, and that's the good thing about this investing strategy, and that's why a lot of you know investors use the strategy, right? DCA, because you know it just saves you. It saves you time and honestly guys, it's less stressful. You know what I mean? You can never really time the market, right? You really can't. So dollar cost averaging guys is obviously a great strategy to use um, in my opinion. And obviously a lot of investors that do in fact invest into crypto, not even just crypto, even though like the stock market and all that use this strategy, right? So yes, guys, everyone right now in my opinion should be dollar cost averaging, right? You should be buying a bit of Bitcoin, a bit of Ethereum, or whatever it is, you know what I mean? I would honestly just stick with Bitcoin and Ethereum. You can obviously buy other altcoins, okay? Because like I said, altcoins are literally dirt cheap right now, like literally, okay? But, you know, if I were you guys, just stick with Bitcoin and Ethereum, you know, invest, you know, every week or every two weeks or every month, you know, invest a couple hundred dollars or any any amount, you know what I mean, that you are comfortable losing, you know what I mean? Always invest money that you guys are in fact, you know, comfortable losing. Right, so please understand this, guys. So, dollar cost average now, okay? Buy in now before it's too late, guys, okay? Like, what if this is actually the bottom? Like, I don't think this is the bottom, but what if, you know what I mean? And then it will just be too late, you know? Bitcoin, right? Maybe, you know, a few months' time, it could bounce back up to $20,000, over $20,000, right? And we'll never see Bitcoin at $16,000, right? But I don't think, like I said, guys, that is going to happen. I think Bitcoin's gonna go down even lower, you know, $12,000, $10,000. But like I said, you can never really time the market. Okay, so buying in now, guys, dollar cost average, I think right now it's obviously a great time right now to buy in and dollar cost average, right? So that's just my own personal opinion, okay? This is obviously not financial advice. Always do your own research, guys. But personally, I know for a fact that everyone now that is in fact invested into the cryptocurrency market is in fact dollar cost averaging right now okay i know a lot of people personally that are in fact doing that okay obviously we aren't in fact in a bear market so obviously this is obviously a great time to buy right bitcoin has dropped significantly okay same with ethereum and most other old coins okay so yeah guys um today i just can clearly see that everything is in fact um, in the reds once again, okay, everything is in fact having a slight dip, you guys can see BNB down 5%, okay, XRP down 4%, Cardano 5%, Dogecoin 7%, Polygon a whopping 9%, Polkadot 2%, Solana 11%, okay, Solana has been dropping, I think right now Solana, okay, um, is a great buy, obviously, you know what I mean, Solana has dropped significantly, okay, but you know, who knows? A lot of people are in fact saying that Solana is the next Terra Luna classic, right? But we will see, you know what I mean, for Solana. But I don't think I don't think Solana will get to zero dollars. I just don't see that happening, right? Maybe it could, but I just don't think it will, you know what I mean? So I think personally it's a great time 
to buy some Solana, right? Uh, Shiba Inu is down of 6%, Litecoin, 4%, Uniswap, 2%, Avalanche, 12%, okay? Cosmos Atom, 7%, same with Chainlink, okay? Over 7%, Ethereum Classic, 5%, uh, Stellar, XLM, 3%, okay? Algorand, 9%, pretty much almost 10%. Uh, Filecoin, right, is down over 4%, VeChain, pretty much 6%, Quant, 8%, okay, Terra Luna down over 3%, so you guys can clearly see that a lot of old coins are in fact dropping, okay, Tezos uh, down 6%, ApeCoin 10%, Sandbox 6%, Decentraland 7%, so yeah guys, um, it is in fact a, another red day today, so you know, I think right now it's obviously a perfect time to buy in, right? To dollar cost average, okay? Uh, so that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers. I really would appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Have a good one, guys.